in the previous video i discussed about the load profile this load profile we discussed now in this video uh, this is part 3 here i will discuss about the calculation for the for the uh, loads for all continuous load emergency loads and last minute loads so all these uh, load calculation how to do this so this is first step is the calculation of continuous load calculation for continuous load we need to calculate the continuous uh, dc supply required for the normal uh, operating condition of all the switchboards and panels suppose here uh, we have 11 kb switch gear then 4 to pin bolt pcc mcc eop dc motor this is emergency oil pump dc supply is required then uh, then this is also lp panel so all this dc motor starter panel so you need to list of uh, suppose generator relay panel avr panel dc emf panel so you need to list up all the all the continuous uh, load requirement and this is the uh, relay you can see this is uh, the uh, relay requirement so total 18 numbers relay for 11 kb switchboard and per relay per unit 20 watt so this is coming total 18 into 20 that means 360 watt suppose trip circuit supervision total 18 numbers this is the uh, power consumption per unit 2.25 so this is the total requirement and this is the dcs requirement dcs power supply requirement then is coming metering then is coming aux, aux village so all these and also the indicating lamps so these are the uh, these are the total power supply and the uh, total dc power requirement so total what is uh, is this so we need to find out we need to find out all the uh, continuous uh, load required for uh, during normal running condition and here is the total load 4031 so the continuous load uh, from the battery set this is coming this is coming AD26 that means this 4031 divided by divided by E12 divided by E12 by basic data that means we have already discussed about the basic data so that means E12 E12 means the nominal voltage here you can see nominal nominal battery voltage so nominal battery voltage this is E12 that is 110 volt 110 volt so 4031 divided by 110 volt this is coming 36.645 ampere and um, the EOP operated from DC starter panel that is 41 ampere this is the requirement for EOP uh, for the EOP DC DC supply is required hence the cumulative continuous load from the battery set this is coming 36.65 ampere this is the value okay now now coming to the uh, emergency load so total emergency load uh, this is the this is the emergency load is coming the 29 plus 31 that means uh, this uh, this 36 uh, 29 uh, plus uh, plus this uh, dc eop so total is coming uh, 76 uh, sorry 77.65 ampere and this is the this is also called the momentary this is also called the momentary load okay so circuit breaker here uh, what are the momentary loads uh, requirement here for 11 kb incomer and outgoing uh, breaker trip we have total 14 set and per set what is this 180 so total total is coming 2520 watt then for LV, this is coming 720 watt, and for DC UOP, it is coming 4510. So the total watt is required for the momentary uh, is 7750. Okay, and considering we have considered here for the 11 kV circuit breaker, we have two numbers trip coil for each, uh, of, uh, yeah, uh, for each, uh, uh, this is basically 132 kV uh, circuit breaker and and one number uh, trip coil uh, per 
uh, enemy circuit breaker and this is starting uh, motor weapons with three times of full load current three times of FLC full load current so the momentary one minute load momentary one minute load is coming F50 that means this total 7750 this 7750 divided by E12 that means 110 volt so it is coming 70 ampere approximate 70 ampere now the closing closing load load calculation of closing load so uh, this is the last minute load we need to calculate also to close the 11 kb circuit breaker incomers and outgoing breakers and closing of all uh, lv breakers incoming and outgoing breakers so this is the total requirement this is coming 4500 ampere okay uh, okay uh, so here you can note for uh, for 11 kb breaker only one number closing coil we have considered obviously and uh, so this is coming closing load for one minute this is coming if uh, if 60 that means total uh, load for 500 divided by divided by e27 from basic data so what was e e27 as you can see e27 is the minimum system voltage that means 99 volt 99 volt so if i divided by 99 uh, 4500 by 99 volt then it is coming 45.45 amp ampere so this is the last minute this is the last minute closing load and before that this is the momentary load that means first uh, first one minute this is the momentary load and this is the continuous load this is the continuous load we have uh, calculated here 36 ampere continuous load so this is the uh, load profile based on the load profile this is the load calculation the momentary load next is continuous load next is uh, the last minute closing load so we need to calculate uh, like this in the next video i will conclude about the battery sizing calculation based on this uh, load calculation